As the process of rationalizing government agencies starts to take shape, parliamentary committees have embarked on processing of the bills, which will facilitate the merging of the various entities. The rationalization bills were last week tabled in parliament by the Prime Minister Robin Banja. Today, members of the legal committee met with the Attorney General Chiriwa Chuanuka, Justice and Constitutional Affairs Minister Nobat Mao, as well as the Minister of Public Service Mururi Mukasa, to scrutinize the bills which included the Constitutional Amendment Bill 2023, the National Tribunal Bill, and the Arbitration and Reconciliation Bill. Before business could proceed any further, an objection was raised on the content of the Certificate of Financial Implication that was tabled by Chiriwa Chuanuka because it did not meet the standards. But Chairman, you will need to guide me in respect to the lawyers. You will forgive me, I am not one. Either section or clause. Clause 76. Section 76 of the public... Finance and Management Act. Okay. Because it it describes it sets the standard for a certificate of financial impact. The, the 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 estimates of revenue, the cost revenue and expense over a period of two years after the bill has come into effect. So mm. that in itself should be able to come out in the certificate, which, with due respect, is not reflected here. The Certificate of Financial Implications issued under Subsection 1 of the Public Finance Management Act is supposed to indicate the estimates of revenue and expenditure over the period of not less than two years after the coming into force of any bill after being passed. In the, the Committee of Legal, we don't take legal issues lightly. Uh, we noted that uh, the Certificate of uh, Financial Implications that uh, accompanied the, the different bills that are before us and in fact, it has been brought to our attention that all the bills, the, certificate, the certificates that were availed to us appear in all different bills. When we merge NFA, how much money will government benefit by the merger? Yes, it may be billions of money. But what about this person who have chased away from his job? He has nothing he knows. He only knows to look after forests. Chiriwa Chuanuka said he will have to consult with the Minister of Finance to come up with a standard certificate of financial implication. I cannot quite answer the questions that you raised to me. I think this question should be referred to, to the Ministry of Finance. I'll be happy to continue to explain to you my part on the legal aspects. And then we can come back with the issue of the finance. And then the committee can go on and make its own decision that the certificate does not meet the requirements under the law. So there is no way we would have proceeded considering the Constitutional Amendment Bill when one of the key documents that the law requires to accompany the bill was defective. So it is for that reason that we ask them to go. The members of the Legal Committee of Parliament are concerned that the document that has been produced by the Ministry of Justice and Constitutional Affairs could be the same document that has been produced before other committees. These are urging all members of parliament to look critically at the certificates of financial implications so that the bills of rationalizations can be processed legally. Jumakiria, NTV at parliament.